hello. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah. Tech school sucks. <laughs> been here since August. So we have, let's see, August, September, October, November, December, January, and it's now February. This upcoming week is going to be my last week here, and I'm so glad. <laughs> this place wasn't what I was expecting it to be at all. I just, I don't know, I kind of saw tech school being like a college environment, and it kind of is for the most part, but you have no car. I'm in a place in the middle of nowhere where there's not much to do, sadly. Don't even know where to begin. These past six months have, I feel like I changed a lot, like more than I have in BMT. I would say it's been interesting, but it's been like, not. What is my summary at tech school? Classes are fun for the most part when I'm actually doing things. Last, or just last week was the first of my class to graduate. Basically, my class graduates in four different groups or at four different times. I am lucky enough to be second to leave after them, and I am leaving next week. Besides that, though, let me just describe you a usual day. So let's start with Monday. Wake up at 4 o'clock. Actually, here, let me take you with me. So, 4 o'clock, I wake up here, put my shirt on, and put my pants on. Then, well, once I get my pants on and shoes on, boots on, come over here, shave and brush my teeth, come back over here, grab my jacket, whatnot, get my bag, which my bag doesn't really have anything else in it. Usually I just have my jacket in it for when it rains. March my way over to DFAC before 4.40 in the morning, my first formation, and then from there, that's where the duty day starts. Let me go back to sand my desk. So from there, after I take, at the formation, go inside the DFAC, eat uh, like two eggs or so, um, with some bacon or something drink some milk well <laughs> some water some milk and sometimes a coffee but lately I've been drinking coffee in the day room after I wake up a little bit that way I'm not like crashing like an hour after getting to class at six o'clock class starts usually <laughs> it's just whenever my instructor comes and picks us up class starts go to class do our thing have a break every now and then. Then I go to lunch. Lunch is for us at 10.30. Go over to the defect, just walk over there. From the defect, I had something to do. I usually do it then. Like I'll go check my mail, go to the BX and buy stuff, go to the grocery store, the commissary, I mean. But usually, most of the times, I just go eat at the defect and come back and do nothing. I'll just watch American Dad and maybe talk with a few people. Maybe even play a game of chess. We go back to class at 12. We get out at 2.45, 2.30, depending on the day. And then if it's a Monday, since I'm on Monday right now, we would go back here, get into PT gear, and form up outside over the overhang for PT run. Usually it's four miles, sometimes if we're lucky it's two. If we're super lucky, it's self-paced, where we can just do where the hell we want. Most people just go back to the gym and just lift weights and whatnot. But for me, I enjoy running. I find it like I feel amazing at their good run. Run days not that bad. It's just kind of annoying when you're tired and just want to sleep after a long, boring day of class. You just want to go to bed, but they're like, nope, see up, run four miles. After coming back from run, I usually try to be the first one back into the dorms so I can take a shower because the water pressure here sucks like enough already. And then when we have everybody trying to take a shower at once, it literally nothing comes out it's just like a little drip that comes out take my shower usually like a two-minute shower get dressed up in civilian clothes and go over to the defect for dinner i usually have my headphones on or i'll find somebody to go with me and we just talk and whatnot after that come back if there's anything else i need to do like go again bx grocery store commissary the post office if i need to go do check out those i do then but usually no. Then I just come back to my room and do nothing. Other times, if I'm just staying up, I'll try to do laundry if there's a washer machine open. Right now I'm doing laundry. Ooh, I should probably go get the laundry. <laughs> I just realized that. Let me take away from me, actually.
All right, got my hamper clothes all done. I'll fold that later. Back to my desk. So yeah, usually I do my laundry or something like that. Otherwise, I just get in bed and go to sleep. That, that's a usual Monday. Tuesday, same thing for the Dewey Day. From four o'clock of waking up to getting out of class. But here's the thing about Tuesdays that I like. Tuesdays, we get out of class and then there's no formation. We just go, we do what's called airmanship. Should we just talk about like Air Force history or like a life lesson that was learned by the instructors and kind of like personal development kind of deal. Then after that, we're free to do whatever we want with the day. And from there, I would just go back to my room. Tuesdays, I don't like to work out, so I can just, my body can just rest up. And I really count Tuesdays as kind of like a mental day, really. Like, after class, I'm just like, the. So Wednesdays, then, wake up at 4 o'clock, do everything I did on, for the due day for Monday and Tuesday, and then when we get out at, like, 12.30 or 12.45, get suited up in PT gear at the schoolhouse, and then go over to the gym where we have a PT formation for our strength day, where basically we just do push-up, jumping jacks, and stuff like that, where we just all get together and just work out like that. And with the fire dogs, it gets pretty crazy sometimes with all their hype. <laughs> After that, go back, shower, eat, watch YouTube, go to bed, listen to music, fall asleep. Thursday comes along, same thing as Monday. Absolute same thing from waking up to forming up for a run, running two to four miles, and then after that, that's it. It's so hot in here. But it should be starting to cool down. Right now it's 69 degrees and the sun just went down. Huh. Just now. <laughs> uh, I think I actually might go for a run. It's pink outside with the sun. I think I should go for a run. I'm gonna go for a run. Alright, so, just got back from my run. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> um, Friday. So Friday's pretty legit. Normal duty day, 4.10 to 3. Then we go back to the dorms where we just relax for a bit. And uh, at 3.30 or so, we go out to the overhang once again where we do what's called safety brief, which is basically kind of like get together, like, yo, you're here, don't do anything stupid, have, have a good weekend. After that, it's the weekend. Once you're ITP, which is the second phase after you're here, you get this little red badge, or it's a different colored badge depending on what squad you're in. But this is mine, basically saying, I am ITP. Which is the next phase after BTP. I get the worst civilian clothes, get to go out, off base, do whatever I want. The only problem is here, there's no sidewalks. And the base is a bit, a bit of a walk from anywhere like the main city here so you have to get a car or friend who has a car <laughs> i just don't go off base that much anymore because all there really is to do is drink if i had my own car i'll be going out and like exploring the area and whatnot but when i don't have my own car i have to rely on others it just it's too much of a hassle for me to be honest and that's pretty much it usually i just game or watch tv if i'm not out drinking have a good time with some being social, playing some pool and whatnot. Then Saturday, wake up at seven, go get breakfast with a friend. just eat and then I come back and usually go right back to bed usually I just sleep right back in just because there's nothing else to do if I have a game or something to watch I'll just do that the day goes on usually I only eat two meals on the weekend anyways if there's something to do I'll go do it but usually just not so I just end up waking up maybe doing some stuff on the computer pay some bills uh, work on finances go out for dinner if I don't have any plans for to spend my Saturday I usually just Go to the DFAC, get some food, and then come back and play video games. Go to bed. Not much, really. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I go out off base and go watch a movie or something like that. But that's kind of a rare, once a month kind of deal. Sunday, 
same story set up on Sunday um, goes up before dinner we have what's called GR party which is basically kind of like all right you guys are back all here starting tomorrow you got you know wake up usual time blah 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 clean up our rooms and whatnot make sure everything's clean then I usually try to go to bed right after dinner so around nine ish ten ish once I get all my stuff ready but yeah that's a normal week for me it's been like that for so long i swear it's like groundhog's day yeah i'm so glad it's almost over after this week this is the last week this week is the last week feels so good to say that wednesday i get kicked out of the dorms and then i fly back home I'm looking forward to it from there who knows after how the last two times i went home i went home for thanksgiving for like what seemed like two days it didn't seem long at all. it was a four-day weekend Ugh. i didn't sleep at all for one and two it was just it went by so quick, like, I didn't even get to relax. And then, winter break, oh god. Winter break, 11 days. Honestly, it only felt like 5. It came and went so quick. And the whole time, I was just thinking, like, only have, like, 5 days left, only have 4 days left. And it just went by before I knew it. Didn't get to do really anything that I really wanted. And, yeah, I don't know, I kind of crushed my spirit a little bit, but... Now, I can honestly say, like, my spirit's starting to come back slowly ever so slowly now with the fact that i'm about to finally start my life in florida which i'm super excited for that being said i'll i think i'm going to try and make one more video while i'm here next weekend to give like a final tour of this whole place hopefully i'll keep up with making these videos because i honestly my friends already requested like or asked me where's the next vlog where's the next vlog so i'll try to keep up with this till then thanks for watching and have a good one.